Hello everyone, and not only have I survived another quarter of college, but I also survived the Wait for Digimon Adventures Tribe! <laughs> now I have to wait even more months for the dub version to be released! You used the original Japanese are always better than- Yeah, the dub version sounded so terrible! Hey, what are you? Is your mind not working? Well, let me explain. Ever since I was a kid, I watched every Digimon series in dubbed versions. You could say I got more used to the dubbed versions because I grew up with it, even if it's not very great. That goes the same with Sailor Moon. When the reboot came out, several people preferred the old English version because they grew up with the old and weren't used to the new. So guys, do you understand what I'm explaining? You don't deserve to live in this society! start on my new segment of the channel, My Editorials. It is where I talk about random stuff based on my opinions. It could be in the form of top 10s or vlogs. And today, I would like to start things off with the 15th anniversary special, Digimon Adventures Tribe. <laughs> I was super hyped that a new season is coming that stars the original characters. Although that hype starts to die down because since this is an anniversary special and many of those don't go too well. Also, the makers of this show decided to turn it into a 6 part movie series instead of the traditional 25 to 50 episode season. And after suffering not one, but two delays, promotional posters, and trailers, the first movie finally released on both theaters and stream. And so far, people are pretty liking it so far. And that is for the sub version. So what about the dub? Of course there's going to be some bad voice acting, and of course there are going to be some cutouts, but but I want to make sure the creators will have everyone be pleased of this new season while filling up with nostalgia for both sub and dub audiences. So that's why until the dub version is released, here are the 10 things that needs to happen in Digimon Adventures Tribe for the dub and future movies. Digimon, digital monsters, Digimon are the champions. Digimon, digital monsters, Digimon are the champions. Less humor. Oh yeah, this is like the biggest problem in every Digimon season. They kept making these terrible jokes which are not funny. Like 90% of them. They also usually do it at a time where there shouldn't be a time for jokes. Like getting ready for a boss fight, a city is under attack, or even at a time when people need to mourn. And they just kept coming. Digimon Fusion, the latest one before Try, is full of unfunny jokes. They kept throwing these jokes at you expecting that you'll laugh at them, and they just kept going. It ruins moments that should let audiences warm their hearts or more. Oh, I thought I was being attacked by Aro Kenimon, but it's just Davis' snoring. Shut up. Everything shuts down in this place by six. You can't even get a pizza. Shut up! Holly, wanna grab her? Oh, really big grab her? Oh, for God's sake, will you guys just stop? Why do all of you get the pizza? Why do I get the crust? <laughs> Wait a minute, why am I laughing? Isn't this thing supposed to be all about depression? Hopefully, the company's dubbing and licensing it learns from their mistakes and give out jokes and other forms of humor at the right place and time. use the right music. There are times when the music they play doesn't really fit with the atmosphere that is happening. For example, when there is a fight scene happening with a strong Digimon villain, the song they used is more upbeat. When the music plays seems right for the particular atmosphere, to me, it doesn't feel like it. There, sure, there are some moments when they get the music right. But I want them to do the same to every other moment, especially the action. I want them to play songs that doesn't just fit the atmosphere, but also make us feel like it is. The Appearance of Magnamon 
If you don't know, in this timeline, Magnemon is an armor level Digimon that is as strong as a Mega. When Vimon used the Digi Egg of Marigolds to armor Digivolve into Magnemon in order to defeat a rogue artificial Digimon Chimeramon. And that was the only time we get to see Magnemon, which is pretty disappointing, and I really want to see him again. Also, if you don't know that in other timelines, Magnemon was also a member of the Royal Knights, which is pretty interesting, and I'm really interested in how it will turn out, especially going against one particular member of the Knights called Yule Force Vidramon. Well, because it has V in its name. I want his purpose to be as similar as Omnimon's. Limit censoring. Of course, the dub version will be licensed by Saban, and of course, it will be for kids. But come on, they're not that immature. In the past, they kept censoring human violence, cleavages, and hell, even the name. First of all, the violence. They replaced face to face contact with flashing lights, which seems very unnecessary. So, Digimon fighting each other is okay, but. Humans fighting each other, not okay, and talking about death, absolutely not okay. Child safety? Also, the sexual themes. I know that they have to censor those things for the well-being of kids, but they seem to go overboard, which actually caused them to look less awesome. Angel Woman didn't get censored, and none of us had a problem or got turned on. So here are the things that need censoring. Big cleavages that also exposes too much do censor. You know, Japan seems really immature. Small cleavage that's somewhere the same as Disney, no need to censor. I'm sure kids can handle it. Oh, and the name. I think that is also a form of censoring because of what the name means. For example, Diaboromon was renamed from Diablobon because, you know, Diablo. But I don't mind because that actually sounds cool. And Deputymon, renamed from Revolvermon because of the gun. But I don't mind because it still looks like a sheriff. Also, Omnimon was renamed from Omegamon because Alpha and Omega, Bible, I don't know, but Pokemon used it and everyone seems fine. But Lilithmon renaming to Laylamon? That doesn't sound very good. Come on guys, don't let Spectre to know what Lilith means. Blending with the O2 timeline. You know that try takes place when the original Digitestin are in high school. In the O2 season, they're in middle school in the original Japanese version. But in the dub version, they're actually in high school, while the O2 characters are in middle school. I don't know why the dubbers would ever think about that. I mean, this isn't made by the same animators who made Sailor Moon. I mean, I don't know if the dubbers for Try will be like, Hey, since Try decided to have their original characters as high schoolers, why don't we just forget the fact that we just made the characters as high schoolers from O2? All in favor say aye. Aye. I really want to know how they pull this off after making a big change from the past. Return to the Dark Ocean. For those who don't know, and spoilers, an episode from O2 shows Kari getting dragged into a place known as the Dark Ocean, and there roams an unknown Digimon that wants Kari as a queen by his side. And we never mentioned all this ever again! Oh, and in the Battle of our Earth where they imprisoned Daemon to that place for the safety of Earth, and that place was where Ken became evil in the first place. You know, what I never got to understand was, who was that giant Digimon we saw? What was the purpose of the Dark Ocean? Were we able to see that Digimon again, along with Daemon? Will that have any significance to the rest of the season? I hope the creators thought about this and made sure that there are no plot holes. Make TK and Kari canon. That's right, I am one of those shippers that want TK and Kari to become a couple. Sorry Davis. I mean, the evidence is all there! Holding hands when falling, saying they cared for each other, 
Even that poster that teased viewers that they're together. Let us until the god awful epilogue they decide to pull up, showing absolutely no evidence if TK and Kari actually got married. TK and Kari were supposed to have cute little perfect babies and <laughs> zero two in the eye socket. I really wish both Japanese creators and dubbers give something what every fan wants, making TK and Kari an official couple, whether it's by confession and or a kiss. If Japan and America decided to be an ass and show no kiss whatsoever. Well, I mean, what's wrong with little kids watching two lovers kissing each other? And kiss that little frog. Aww. Oh, screw you! Oh, and for those that still pissed that Sora is with Matt instead of Tai, I understand how you feel. Let's just assume that Tai will be with Mako, or whatever her English name will be. X mode. This was introduced in the movie Digimon X Evolution, with this thing called the X antibody, which allows Digimon to be immune by the X program, a program that terminates Digimon in order to control the population created by Idrasil, the ruler of the digital world and the royal knights. There are some Digimon that changes their appearance whenever they have the X antibody inside of them, and for Animon, he looks awesome. Same with War Greymon, Metal Garuomon, and the rest of the Royal Knights. Not only will this make Digimon stronger and look cool, but it could be an interesting plot device for the overall story. But if they decided to have characters become Victory Greymon and Z Garuomon, I'm totally cool with that. Make the O2 character significant. Just to let you know that I kinda spoiled myself after watching some reviews, so spoilers. It appears that Alphamon defeated the O2 characters, and that's pretty much it. Oh, and Imperial Drummond starts to become evil for the next movie. I don't think that I would like the idea that the O2 characters will be there just to act as damsels in distress and join Stephi only in the last set of minutes. I really want them to be more important to a plot, have them get dragged into the problem of the Royal Knights because, you know, this. And I really want to see some development not just on themselves but when they interact with their original characters. Bring back the old theme song. Oh yeah, this is like a top priority when it comes to anniversaries. No more of those original songs that doesn't live up to its potential. I want to hear the old theme song on their opening and the Digi Evolution scenes. And don't even use that Digi rod they dared to attempt in the movie and failed. The Japanese version used the remix version of the opening they used. And it has some nostalgia because they didn't change it very much and we were able to recognize it easily. It would be the best way for our audience to get nostalgic on the series they fell in love. If the dub version is going to be a remix, that's fine. But it better have more nostalgia than how Pokemon and Power Rangers attempted. And those are the 10 things that needs to happen in the dub version and future projects of Digimon Adventures Tribe. Let's pray to God that this anniversary special lives up to the hype and make sure it doesn't become awful like Digimon Fusion. Well, this is my editorials and I Um... I think you missed a part in the script. Um, I don't think I've forgotten anything. In fact, I said everything that's on the script. Yeah, well, have you read the back yet? Well guys, number 11. Bring back all the original voice actors. Oh yeah, what else to celebrate the 15th anniversary and bringing back the original characters if we bring back the original voice actors for the 01, 02, and their Digimon partners. That will totally make things more nostalgic. The dub version for the disappearance of Nagoto Yuki-chan did so. I was a bit down that not all the Japanese voice actors returned for a try, so hopefully the dub doesn't do the same. And those are the 11 things that needs to happen in Digimon Try. Well then, this is my editorials and have a great day.